Hey all, this is Taylor again. Today I'm going to show you how to go from scan all the way to 3D printable object. Uh, this is video one of two. Open up 3Phase and within images you should have the three pictures you took of the object that you're trying to scan. Labeled phase one, phase two, phase three, dot jpg. Each of them should be the same object just with the white stripes moved down slightly. Here I tried to scan a mannequin. Uh, so open up 3phase.pde and click run and it's going to give you a crazy looking uh, object or point cloud that in no way looks like your object which is totally fine from here you're going to change z skew try to find uh, the best z skew level so that your object looks most realistic you may have to change view and you can do that by uh, simply clicking and moving the mouse. You can also uh, pan by holding down the Apple or the Command button and dragging the mouse, at least on a Mac. Uh, I found my z skew to be best at negative 10.5 to look most realistic. Next, uh, you can change z scale and this will change the depth of the object. So if you go to zero, the object should look totally flat, and vice versa. Uh, next, noise threshold. What this does is it it tries to reduce all of the excess noise, such as ambient uh, ambient background uh, lights or objects that it picked up. However, by doing so, uh, it's also going to delete parts of the object. As you can see, as I increase the noise threshold there's a big gap in the nose and the eyebrows um, because it thinks that that's too much noise. So try to find a good balance. Uh, sometimes you may have to go all the way down to zero to get a good quality uh, cloud and to not remove uh, vertices that should still be in the object. So for now uh, I'll leave mine at zero or 0 0.01. Uh, next and finally, you'll want to change render detail, maybe. Uh, and what this does is it will add or remove vertices in your cloud. So by moving render detail all the way up to four, you'll see that the cloud is much less densely populated with vertices. However, by going all the way to one, there's many more vertices within the cloud. Uh, usually I will export as render detail level 2 or 3 just so that there's still uh, a lot of vertices to get detail however there's not so much so that it causes your blender or mesh layer program to run very slowly so uh, find the correct decoding parameters and export mesh and you can do this by pressing the export mesh button So in three phase, you should see a new PLY. Uh, you can label it whatever you want. I'll label it man mesh for now. And then open up Blender or Mesh Lab. Uh, here I'll show you how to use Blender. You could use either one though. File, import uh, PLY. And now find three phase and find your mesh. Uh, note that the two dots up here, that is back. So it's kind of tricky finding three phase at times, but you will get used to it. So import man mesh, or whichever, however you saved it as. Uh, and before you do anything, you'll notice that there's this cube or a square in the middle of uh, of Blender. You can get rid of this by selecting it. You select it either by right clicking or if you're on a Mac laptop, you can put two fingers on the trackpad and then click. Uh, you know it's selected when there's a purple uh, border on it. Press X and erase selected objects. Zoom out is scroll. Uh, so zoom out until you see your object. It most likely will be in the top right corner. Select your object by right clicking and you can drag it to the center by holding down the mouse and dragging uh, and when you, you let go 
the object should follow your mouse. So place the object in the middle and click. You can rotate uh, by holding down the Alt or Option button and clicking and then moving uh, the mouse around. The object may be inverted, that's totally fine. Now, you should uh, see a lot of excess noise. This is either due to uh, ambient light or some background images or just decoding parameters. Um, you can get rid of them by going into edit mode. You do this by pressing tab. Uh, you'll notice that the yellow dots, yellow vertices, mean they're selected vertices. If you press A, it unselects all, uh, and the purple dots mean they're unselected dots. So you can select the excess noise by pressing either B once, which allows you to box select. You can click and drag and select the whole box section of vertices. Uh, and again, delete by pressing X, delete, or erase vertices. The other option is uh, press B, B. Uh, press B twice. And it should give you a paintbrush style um, select option. So click all the points that you want to remove. And then again, press X. So when you go back to object mode, a lot of the excess noise should be deleted. So from here, um, there may be some, some excess background, either noise or features from possibly a wall or just a mistake in three phase. Again, you can get rid of these the same way. Uh, go into edit mode by pressing tab and then paintbrush select and select all the objects you want to delete. Uh, one thing to note is you can change the size of the, the paintbrush by scrolling in and out. Uh, this may make it easier at times. Uh, erase those vertices by pressing X again. So I didn't delete uh, the ear. I wanted to show you how you can move some parts of the mesh back into the correct position. Uh, sometimes three, get, three phase gets confused and uh, as you can see here, part of the ear is in front of where it's supposed to be. So you can move it back by going to edit mode again. Uh, paintbrush style, BB, select all those parts of the ear. And then uh, press escape to get rid of the paintbrush. And now you can move it back by dragging the blue arrow, uh, whichever arrow is facing just directly backwards from the features. So now when you go back to object mode, your ear should be more in the correct position. Uh, so next, um, you will want to smooth the object. Uh, you can do this by going into tab, select all, um, you may have to unselect all by pressing A and then select all by pressing A again. You can smooth by pressing W, oops, sorry, uh, by pressing W and selecting smooth. And what this does, it will, it will get rid of the fuzziness that you see. As you can see, the object should be, it might be very fuzzy depending on uh, the focus of the webcam and the projector and also depending on how much the object moved especially if you're taking a, a person scan. So smooth the object several times. Um, you want What you want to do is you want to find a balance between uh, smoothness and, and maintaining features. Uh, so if you smooth it too many times, uh, you'll notice that the lips and eyes, let's say, will sort of just blend in with the rest of the features and it they will deteriorate. So uh, what I like to do is smooth it maybe three or four times and then go back to object mode and see how much detail was erased and also how much smoother the object got. Uh, so to try to find a good balance. 
So this is good enough for me. Next, uh, you'll notice there are a lot of holes in the object. Um, you can get rid of these holes either manually in Blender by going into edit mode, uh, unselecting all, pressing A, and then selecting the outside of each circle, like so. Um, once you select all the vertices uh, around the circle, you can press Alt or Option M and merge at center, or you can go to Mesh, Vertices, Merge at center. So now if you go back to Object Mode, that hole was closed. Uh, you can do this again with all the other holes, uh, unselect the dot, So, as you can see, it gets rid of the holes. You can also go into Mesh Lab, which has a close all holes function. Uh, so if there's a lot of holes in your mesh, as you can see, there's a dozen or so holes here. Uh, it makes it a lot easier just to import into Mesh Lab and close all holes instead of manually doing this, which at times may be time consuming.